Bonjour, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, it's Novim Godom. Welcome to Weekly with Olivier Vedrin. I am Olivier Vedrin. We will spend together 20 minutes. As usual, I will do at the first part an uh, international press review. And at the second part, as usual, I will uh, receive a guest. For the, second, for the second part, we will receive a guest, but for the first part, I want to start with some, you know, uh, a summary of uh, 2016. And uh, I want to discuss about some points. And first point for me is that uh, the war in Ukraine is continuing. Uh, Crimea is still occupied. And uh, during uh, 2016, uh, the war uh, was in Ukraine, and uh, Ukraine was under war with Russia, and uh, Crimea is still occupied. I hope uh, 2017 uh, will be uh, more with more happiness for, for Ukraine. But during 2016, the war continued. That's the first point of uh, the, the summary of, my summary of 2016. The second point is, as you know, the US election and uh, the new president, uh, Donald Trump. Everybody uh, was waiting for Hillary Clinton. And what's happened? Donald Trump was elected. And really, really, that was a surprise for everybody. That's a big event of 2016, this uh, US election with this new president, Donald Trump, who is uh, a lot of provoc he did a lot of provocations. And really, now we will have to deal with this new president in 2017, and we will see what will happen. But uh, for 2016, that was a great surprise because you know that a lot of newspapers uh, in USA, in Europe, were surprised about the election of Donald Trump because everybody was waiting for Hillary Clinton. And that's for me a, a big, big event. And a, a third event I want to, to, to speak about is um, for me the a crime against humanity is the bombing of Aleppo in Syria. You know, those, uh, uh, last weeks we, we talked a lot in the newspaper about the bombing of Aleppo in, uh, in Syria. And really what happened in Aleppo is really a crime against humanity. And uh, the Syrian regime and, and uh, Putin is, is, they are guilty. You cannot kill like that civilian, thousands of civilians uh, for uh, during a war. We are in the 21st century and uh, really this is a crime against humanity and Aleppo is uh, really a shame. Shame for Russia and shame for the Syrian government. And uh, then for me that's really Three, three big points uh, of uh, 2016. Um, still the war in Ukraine, the election of Donald Trump, and the crime, uh, crime against humanity because of the bombing of Aleppo in Syria. Then now I want to speak about uh, what's happened uh, last, last week and um, with the answer of the U.S. President Obama against the influence of Russia during the U.S. elections. Yes, yes, Obama did something. Oof, uh, I, am, I am surprised. Why he uh, didn't do that before? Why he didn't do something against the Russian influence in America before? Why he, uh, he, 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 he did that now? Why? You know, uh, the Russian influence uh, during the US election are really, uh, everybody know that. Okay. 
And uh, Obama now is reacting. But why only now, at the end of his own mandate? Why? This is my question. Because, you know, everybody know that now uh, Russia is doing some influence in Europe. And we will have also in Europe to react about that. But I am very surprised about this reaction uh, of Obama at the end of this mandate. Why only at the end? I think, you know, uh, the Russian influence was very important in, during the US election, but I am very afraid that the Russian influence will be important uh, during the French elections, uh, for the presidential elections in, French, in France, and also uh, for the elections in uh, Germany. Then uh, I hope we will not wait uh, like uh, the President Obama uh, to react. I hope we will react now and quickly against this influence. And I want to speak also about uh, another uh, very important event uh, is the, um, the Tupolev um, TU-154, which disappeared in the Black Sea. Yes, that was... Uh, they, 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 they were going to, to Syria from Sochi. And, um, but you know, uh, when I was in France, I, I made some of those uh, singers and really they were at first artists. And now, uh, you know, uh, we, this is really uh, a bad news for, uh, because they were artists. Uh, they were used for the propaganda. Yes, they were used for the propaganda. They were used by Putin for the propaganda. But they are also, they are also um, artists. And I want to underline this, this fact. When I met them, they were at first artists. And for me, this is, this, this um, I can say this, um, this event uh, and condolence for the for those families, who, who, uh, but this event is also the result of the Putin policy because, like the the, the Russian diplomat who uh, was killed in 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 Turkey, this event is also the uh, result of the Russian policy uh, because those uh, singers they were used for propaganda in Syria. And for me, this is a shame at first, and uh, shame on Putin, and Putin is guilty about that, because really, uh, like this Russian diplomat in Turkey, those persons were killed because of a bad policy. And this is uh, really a shame. Now, we, we are waiting for the result of um, some investigations, but uh, but really, those uh, those singers, they were at first artists, and um, even if they were used by propaganda. Then, now, uh, what we can, uh, if we can do a summary of 2016, that was not a very good year. A lot of bad news at first for Ukraine. Let's hope that 2017 uh, will be more, I can see, will bring more happiness for Ukraine and for the rest of the world. I am very happy to receive today at home uh, my guest, uh, Lika Roman. Lika Roman, you are engaged in a lot of humanitarian activity. You are founder of an NGO, Ambassador. You are Miss Ukraine 2007. Yeah. And uh, you are now my guest and I am very happy to receive you. Uh, first, because uh, as a friend and uh, second, to, 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 to speak about uh, those topic about humanitarian effect, about uh, orphanage and all that. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are engaged in a lot of humanitarian activity, but 
what are your first motivation for that? Uh, I believe that everyone, every person on this earth was born uh, with the mission in, in the heart from God. We were created with the mission that will motivate our life. And especially now, uh, when we are in Ukraine and this hard situation for many, many uh, families, children, older people. And when you see all these people and a lot of need uh, that they have, you can't be just, I don't care and I feel good. <laughs> you, you will do with that uh, something. And it's really important that our heart will be interested to help others. And I believe it's what we are born for. Then your, your motivation is to help the others, yeah? Yes, yes. It's from, I think, I was raised in the family, in the Christianity, like Christian family, and we were going to orphanages a lot, and um, I was dreaming to go to Africa like a missionary. I was never dreaming to do Miss Ukraine pageant or something like that, but um, it, it was like a dream, it was motivation in my heart from the childhood. And I think it's really good to, uh, to go with the children, to take children to the orphanages and to show them different life and to, uh, to try them uh, just to, to become friends with uh, children from, with, from orphanage. And it changed a lot their mindset. I know, I, 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 I know you uh, as a friend and I know that this is true. You, when, you, when you were... Uh, uh, a child, you never dreamed to be Miss Ukraine, mm -hmm. but you dreamed to be missionary in Africa. And yes. this is really what you are. I know that. That's just mm -hmm. amazing. Because everybody wants to be Miss some, something, you know, and you know, <laughs> but you were Miss Ukraine 2007. Mm -hmm. And I want to speak about orphanage. And the situation is Ukraine, in Ukraine now with orphan is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And a uh, lot of children, when they leave the orphanage, are totally without support. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them, they are homeless after that, uh, criminals. Yes. And some of them, 10% commit suicide. Then uh, what we can do, because, oh, okay, when, when they are in orphanage, uh, they, uh, when they, uh, they live at 18 years old, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we have nothing after that. And that's, what, what is your... Uh, Opinion. What 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 is your uh, what you suggest to, to yeah. now uh, nowadays in Ukraine? Um, uh, what we can do to help? Yeah, them. hundred thousand uh, and four uh, children are in orphanages. So it's it's hundred thousand children in orphanages, and what we can do to to solve this problem? For now, it's a new governmental program. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It was uh, the idea by Nikolai Kuleba. Mm -hmm. his, uh, his heart is for children. And it's um, mentorship. Mentorship when you can come to orphanage and you, uh, you can become a friend with a particular child. And um, so the social, uh, it, the, it's the program, governmental program, and uh, every person in Ukraine uh, even if you are after 18 years old, you can uh, make like a mentorship. It's officially you need to to be trained like for uh, for the short time mm -hmm. uh, in social uh, like um, governmental social program. It's short trainings, and then they will give you the right to come to the orphanage. And sometimes to take children uh, for the holidays, and uh, so uh, and to help a particular child, and this child will know that you're his friend, and uh, you can he can call you, and when after the orphanage, when he he is just alone, without maybe uh, family, or even if he has some parents, but they are alcoholic or drug addicts, and they can't help him. Maybe uh, just some And that's very important. Advice. This is this law to, be, to permit to mentor a child, yeah? Yes. And 
But I, I, I think we have to repeat that 30% of the orphan after the orphanage mm -hmm. become homeless. 20% became criminals, and I repeat, 10% commit suicide. Yeah, and, it's, and this mm -hmm. law mm -hmm. to mentor a child mm -hmm. uh, can help those uh, young adults after 18 mm -hmm. to, uh, to start in their way. Yeah. Their way. Yeah. And that's very important because, you know, uh, when you are 18, uh, you don't know uh, which study you want to do, which university, what, what you, what, what you want, which job you want to do. And you can, you can also be with very bad frequentation with, and yes. that's really good to, to, and, to do this. Or to be influenced Mentorship. by some uh, bad company of people. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really... A uh, big problem when they go to this world, they never, they never had money for themselves, so they don't know how to, what to do with money. So some people take that money from them and use them and that money for bad things. Yeah. And so they need just some friends, some uh, older friends who can help and who can advise and even to do some documents. They don't know even where to go, what address and how to find it. But recently you uh, told me about a great example of a family in western part of Ukraine. The, uh, that uh, raising children from the orphanage. Tell me more about this family. Yeah, it's um, great uh, when uh, children can have example uh, for their life, like a family, because every day they need some help, some advice, and they need to leave somebody somewhere. And um, it's really great uh, when family uh, can patronage um, uh, some kids from the orphanage and um, I was talking with that family and it's great they're Christians and they have values and they never thought they, they will take children from the orphanage but they had um, like uh, they were visiting some family uh, and this family were alcoholics and they they visited few families and they just brought some food to them and then they found out that they have children and these children it's it was a lot of people old people living in that house and they were all always drunk and these ch children always hungry and cold during the winter time so during the winter time they came and they found out that these children are just freezing their feet and uh, mm. arms were just almost froze and they were like oh uh, we we come to our family we will feed you just just we will make some i don't know some clothes for you and uh, so they came and they become friends with these children then they invited for christmas event for the church it was like um, uh, some good songs mm -hmm. and and then children uh, came and then these children disappeared and this family, this Christian family, they were like, where are children uh, disappeared? And they found out that the parents, the alcoholics, it was just mom, just mother there and some guy who was living with that mom. Uh, she just uh, took the children to orphanage and never took them back. So they came to orphanage and they started visiting them and trying to uh, to have some time for holidays for them, just like mentorship mm -hmm. uh, in that in their family, and then children were starting living almost in uh, their house because uh, because they want they didn't want to go to the orphanage, mm -hmm. and um, and then uh, in uh, one year this mom mm -hmm. uh, she was drunk and she was alcoholic and she died, mm -hmm. and this. Children uh, were like alone in orphanage. Uh, they were officially orphans. So that family, it was five children from um, four of them. They're from one family and other, it's one boy from another neighbors, alcoholics too. And um, they were like, <laughs> somehow they, um, they decided with uh, this Igor uh, and Irina, the 
Um, yes. Then, then uh, you, you... They decided to take these children, yeah. And now they're so happy. And they, they told that they didn't even have the beds for, for so many children. They have uh, three their own children's mm -hmm. um, children, and then they have five. Uh, it's Christmas time, and what means for you Christmas? Um, for me, Christmas, um, it's the time when Jesus was born. 2,000 years ago, and uh, he was born and he brought to our heart new hope. Mm -hmm. And it's not only hope that it will be everything okay, but it's real hope, real love, that we are loved by God and we are not alone. And even if we don't have family or we have some troubles in life, we are not alone because who created us God, He loves us so much, and Christmas time, it's when you have this real hope, and because of that, we can give through our life, we can give hope to some other people who needs. Them. And that's a good conclusion. You know, we are in Christmas, and this is uh, very important. Uh, Christmas is uh, a time when we can share love, and uh, thank you very much. Thank that was you. great to Thank receive you, you in my program and happy Christmas, happy New Year and you. Uh, see you soon in this program. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed those 20 minutes together. Um, happy New Year, Snowbin Godom and remember never give up. Mm -hmm.